Hi, I'm Shaul from Pangolin Photo Safari and in this video I would like to share with you five very easy but crucial points that can help you prepare yourself for your next African or wildlife photographic safari and to prevent some disappointment. If you like this content that we're providing, please don't forget to subscribe by pressing the bell button and you'll be notified as soon as the next video is ready. Let's start. So my tip number one is checking your camera gear. This is extremely important. I would suggest you do your camera gear, check your camera gear at least two weeks before you go on your trip or your safari. And the main reason for this is that if you found something that is wrong, you have time to replace it or to fix it. So first thing I would check is my battery charger. I would charge all my batteries to make sure that my charger is working properly and my batteries is working. After you've charged your batteries, I will insert my batteries into my camera and then you can see after you charge them fully, your camera will indicate if your batteries is full or not. So that's why you can see your chargers working and all your batteries are working. So that's the first thing I will do. Second thing, I would see if all my lenses is connecting properly. If I click them, that click sound, I can hear them, they're connecting properly. And by doing that, if you just twist your camera lens just a little bit, on your aperture, if the connection is not properly, your camera would show zero, zero. This normally happens after a lot of use. All the zooming in and out, then the wear is coming in between your camera and your lens. So this can happen. So to prevent that having this issue on your safari is you can test this before. So if you twist just your lens in your body just a little bit and you will see your camera showing zero zero, you know you have that problem. So you can also try yourself by fixing it. Your camera and your lens have four screws here so you can just tidy it yourself a little bit, maybe one of them are loose. Or the other problem what could be is that you're cleaning these, these metal, golden metal plates is maybe dirty. So maybe that you have to clean. Those metal plates is what giving the signal to your camera. Talking about that signal, then you can also test and make sure your image stabilization is working if you have one. Because you might just need it in low light conditions. So make sure your image stabilization is working properly. Your zooming is working properly. I would test my camera on all my zooms. Let's say I have 100 to 400. I will test it on 100, 200, 300 and 400 to make sure when I focus on my camera, when I focus on something, it is working properly and my pictures are sharp at that different focusing. Before you pack your gear, please test that. You can also then make sure that all your buttons is working properly, testing, turning all the wheels. Your cards, make sure all your cards that you have. Test every card, make sure your camera is reading your card and you don't have any problem. Uploaded your photos that's been already on the cards, make sure your card is empty, formatted on the specific camera that you will use and make sure that they are also ready. Tip number two, disable shutter release without a card. Guys, this is extremely important. Please make sure that your camera cannot take any photos. The shutter doesn't work if you don't have a card in your camera. So this means if you can do any settings, you try to focus, you try to turn any wheel, it will indicate no cart and camera. This is extremely important. The last thing you want is to be on a sighting, a great sighting, you pick up your camera, you've been shooting a lot of photos, and when you look at your pictures, you want to look at your picture, there's no cart in your camera. So try to avoid that by disabled shot release without a cart in your camera. Okay, so tip number three is lens hood. I see so often people don't use it, they don't take it with, not sure why. This is a very important tool in your photography. The lens suit is there to prevent light hitting your front element of your lens from the side, reducing contrast 
and creating flare. And of course, it's to protect your lens as well, the front element for scratches, bumps, maybe fingerprint, and you can't touch it with your fingers. So this is a very important tool. So I would highly recommend you always use this. Um, so don't leave it at down. Please take it with. Um, it is important. Tip number four, laptop and editing process programs. Guys, please make sure before you go on your safari and you're taking your laptop with, that your laptop have enough working space. If your laptop is full, it's very difficult to work on your images. It's gonna load and load and load. Some of those editing programs is quite big. So you need to make sure that you have enough working space. You have, should have enough time to prepare your laptop before you're on your trip. Same with your editing programs. Make sure your editing program is up to date, latest um, software update. Maybe you bought a new camera. Please make sure that your camera um, raw files is compatible with the Lightroom or the editing program that you're using. If you maybe did rent a camera or you borrowed the camera from a friend, make sure that the editing program that you're taking with you on your Safari, that it is working with that files that you are using. So please make sure that that is up to date. You have enough memory that you're taking with. Um, uh, external hard drives are so cheap, they're small, you can easily take them with. Uh, make sure if you take maybe for example a terabyte, you have a full terabyte. No use of taking a terabyte hard drive, but it's 80% full and you might not have enough space on your trip. So please make sure that you have enough memory, enough working space on your laptop and your editing program is up to date to the latest software that you need. Also make a test before you pack it. If you've done some software updates, Please make sure that you test it before you just pack it. Import a couple of photos, work on it and see everything is fine. There's no um, updates that it require, that everything is fine. You might travel to areas where there's no internet or you can't connect for days to the internet and then you can't update that and then you might sit with a problem that you can't do anything on your computer. So please make sure that these um, items are up to date and they're ready to use. Tip number five, my last one, and this is adapters. This is a very important piece of equipment that I recommend that you always have with you. Um, it's very small, easy to pack. Um, this will help you, of course, then not to have any issues with charging your laptop, your cell phone, your camera batteries, your shaver, whatever you have. Um, all around the world, we all have different plug points so make sure that the location where you're going on your safari, that you know which plug points they're using and then you can get you one of these adapters and that will definitely help you not having an issue charging your gear. Okay guys, so that was my five points. I hope these five points help you. I hope this will prevent any disappointment in your next uh, photographic safari. Please, if you have any comments, um, to add on, please leave them below and uh, hope to see you soon.